go here this morning good girls the girls have been and done the washing up yeah. we've been and taken the last load of the clothes that need drying they've been washed they need to go in the dryer unfortunately the dryers broke last night mid hour cycle we couldn't get that sorted because the office had closed etc etc and so we need to do it this morning we just took those up to get them dried this morning and all the dryers are taken so we're we're not waiting around for that but you're reading Twilight again? The seventh time. <laughs> Isabel's read this massive, ginormous, brand new Twilight book like seven <laughs> times. I'm halfway through this one as well. How can you not be bored of reading the same book really over and over? Yeah, but I like books, but I don't read them. Mo good for you. I'm not going <laughs> to mock you reading. I'm glad you're reading, so good for you. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so we, we can't take obviously all the clothes in the car wet. And as you've probably guessed, we are definitely leaving today. Yesterday, my, I was definitely feeling anxious about leaving. I think we've been here for so long now that it feels like home. We've made some great friends here and we've got a comfortable life here. We've got a caravan, we've got all of our setup out here. We know we can go for walks to the beach or whenever we want to. We've got the pool, we've got shops and everything and everything's everything here where we are right now is running normal. There are obviously a few restrictions, not ones that deeply impact the way you can live, if that makes sense. And we're kind of going into the unknown and that terrified me a little bit yesterday but we, we looked upon it last night we read all the research we read all about the restrictions going through spain and madrid obviously we can't go there that's in lockdown and we can't go to the top of spain but we're not planning on doing that anyway we're planning on going straight around the south of spain and i think in some places there's a 10 or 11 pm curfew but we wouldn't be out at that time anyway so it all seems okay basically so we're just packing up the last few bits uh we're not actually Oh, and that was my other point. We can't not leave now because someone's booked our pitch. So Chris went down to pay the bill and said, what time do you need us to check out? What time do we need to leave? And they said one-ish because we've got someone checking into our pitch. So we got no choice. We're going. We got no choice. You just been to the shop. That was quick. I didn't want to leave. How, f how much have I been vlogging? You were here when I started vlogging. You've been to the shop and come back and I'm still vlogging. Okay, I'm gonna end this section, guys. This is how uh, we're occupying Jace this morning. We've been up and down the hill how many times, Isla? I can't, I can't keep count. A lot, hey? Apart from he doesn't want to sit on the bike. He just wants to push the bike. Oh, he's on, he's on, put him down. No, no, he's off again. Whoa. Gosh, Jace has been a little bit testing today. I honestly think these tea are causing him trouble. He woke up crying this morning, didn't he? And he never wakes up. Oh, he never wakes up crying. We're going for a little scoot. Okay, little man, are you good? You good now? First stop. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we've got a blanket in the back there that doesn't belong to us. It's one of our friend's blankets. She lent us it when we were walking back from there accommodation because it was cold and Jace didn't have a jacket so we lent the blanket so first job is to take that back so we just came up to the pool area as we were scooting past it sounded like some sort of party was going on I have never seen the pool so busy as what it is right now it's really busy isn't it little man it's very busy uh, there's some sort of aerobic class going on in there and our friend my friend just said it's because because i was like what's going on why is it so busy and she was like oh it's because i think it's because it's a bank holiday so didn't know it was a bank holiday here so our plans to set off on monday instead of sunday so that if we get stuck with the car a garage can help us it's not happening anyway fingers crossed there's no problems there shouldn't be anyway um but we're going to leave the pool now because it's very, 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 it's very, very, very hot in there. I don't know if I caught it on camera, but when we were cycling up towards my friend's house, it's just behind where my Nana was staying. So we went up the same road that we'd... That, where's Nana? Bye bye. Bye bye, Nana. It's the same road where my Nana was. And as soon as we got up there, Jace was like, Nana, gone. Where's Nana? She gone home. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> so yeah we just come down and my friend just told me that there's something happening for the children on the stage at 12. Me and Isla, it's about 11 now is it? 11ish? So we're going to cycle around for a bit, have a little play and then we're going to meet them up at the stage at 12 and see what's going on up there. So we've been on this caravan site now, caravan site, campsite, 
for how long I left? Two months. And I've never been to the bottom, the very bottom of the campsite. We've explored all the middle bits where we are and the very top, but we just had no reason. I will in a second. We just had no reason to come down to the bottom. Isla and Esme have on the scooters and she just said to me, can you come down to the bottom of the campsite? I want to show you something. Oh my God, it's like mega down here. There's a massive, is it volleyball court? A tennis court over there. And then look at this. So what, Felix? What's going on here? If I didn't know, I would have been in here every day. Oh, One minute, JC boy. Oh my gosh, that's so hot. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. There's an actual mini pool. Well, not mini, a decent size. That's so cool. How did we not know about this? And why didn't, didn't you tell us? I don't know. Isla was like, there's a mini pool, but it's only tiny with like a waterfall in the middle of it. So I thought she meant like a feature thing, not like an actual one. You can go in. That's so cool. Okay, let's get some chuppers. Okay. Please, good boy. And who remembers iFam? Who remembers oh, I these? The blue. I remember them. Let's get, let's get you, get you and get, get Isabel some as well. Get, get, yeah. Get like two, like each. two each. Yeah. So we called to the shop to get some drinks and some snacks. And we just got up to the stage area and our other friends are up here. And they just told us that it's a crazy egg run. Did it say crazy egg run? I don't think it said hunt. Let me go and check. Crazy eggs run. Crazy eggs run. <laughs> indoors because they said that the wind was a little bit too strong the wind is not strong at all here as you can see the trees are not even moving but the eggs were polystyrene balls and so polystyrene moves even with your breath so that's probably why anyway we had a good time up there and jace got to play with some of the toys and the cars and things up there so he had fun yeah and then we were going to go back to the caravan, but a few of our friends were coming up to the restaurant up here for a drink and an ice cream. And as that will be our last chance to come and do that, we decided to come and join them. And also Isabel said, because I messaged Isabel and said, does dad need our help? Do you want us to come back? And she's like, no, stay away. Dad's put propping up the caravan and is in his mode so we all came up but Isabel did say she'd come and join us so she's here too we had an ice cream and now our friends have gone to the farm I think they were going to a farm so a zoo, yeah. a zoo. yeah they're going to the zoo so we're just sat here on our own now we found an orange tree all the time we've been here and I don't know why because there's, there's orange trees everywhere yeah. but I've never noticed this one here and i don't know how because look at the oranges on it how did we miss this big juicy orange juicy. tree one which one is it right see that one there sticking out uh, this one here i can't reach that one mother oh it's about uh, no that the one next Isabel to it might be able to the one that one no the one next that one yeah. hang on if i jump i might oh my gosh uh, okay and I either one to go. Oh, here we go Juicy orange. Yay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, what Esme. Oh, 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 does that one look nice? Oh, I can't this choose. One Which one do you reckon? Let me try and get this one. One, two, three. Hoopla. <laughs> Hoopla. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. So, guys, I had hoped that this shot was going to be a shot of us on the road. But fates have different plans, unfortunately. So basically everything was all set to go. Everything is packed, everything's ready to go. And then I went to go and start the car just to move it out of the way over to there so that I can pull the caravan out and hook it up. She wouldn't start. The battery is dead. Now this one's on me. It is on me because this morning me and Isabel, well, me and Isabel were cleaning up this morning whilst uh, Sarah, Jace and the girls were out uh, playing and we ran the stereo, we were playing music and whatnot. 
and I think we've just run it too long and the doors were all open, the boot was open, I didn't even think about the interior lights being on etc etc so it's not completely dead, it's just not alive enough to start the car so the good guys here, thank goodness, have got this uh, battery charging thing going on right now but it's going to take like four or five hours for it to charge so uh, that's not good and since it's already one o'clock in the afternoon the girls are all at the pool and I'm still yet to give them the bad news so um, I'm going to go give them the bad news I don't know if we're going to be going today now basically I don't know if we're going to have to stay another night because I don't want to have to set off in the dark I didn't want to do that I wanted to, we got up early this morning so we could get a jump on the day and get going but we'd have to probably set off in the dark now if we went today and I don't really want to do that so I think we might end up staying dare I say one more night but I need to go speak to Sarah and the girls and we'll make a plan so uh, we'll update you when I have done so it looks like the fates have decided we're not due to leave today fates stupid husband we listen to the fates man stupid husband go. same <laughs> thing right you tell him Jace Go, Daddy. Go. You're in a battery flat. You don't tell me go. As you can probably hear, the car is now going, so we could physically set off now. But it's almost tea time, and the whole point of not leaving yesterday and going today was so that we could get off early afternoon, late morning, early afternoon, and make some progress on the journey rather than There's having no to set up. There's no point leaving now. We'd have to drive for one hour and then stop in a service station. Just makes like no sense or a wild camp spot. It just makes no sense when we can just stay. I mean, we would have good sleep. Hey, we've slept in some good service stations on this trip and, I, fair, yeah. and have some I good bet. slips. Slips, sleeps. Anyway, we've decided there's no point. We're just gonna get up in the morning and go <laughs> again. So me, Jason, and the girls oh, no. have some fun at the pool. No, we are like, we are. Me, Jace, and the girls had some fun up at the pool earlier on. The girls went off with some friends. So Isabel's here with me, but the other two are... We need to go find... Them. Yeah, they are just at the, over the other part of the campsite. Other part of the park. But they're playing with some friends. So I think now that we've got everything packed away, we kind of did stock up on a bit of food. Like fridge and freezer type food. But we kind of want to keep that for the for the trip because even though we're not going into like the middle of nowhere it's good sometimes when you've been driving for a while and you want to stop not to have to stop and then look for a supermarket to get food and cook and blah 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 it's best to just have the food ready so whenever we stop we've got food so we're going to save that i think we're going to take a scoot into luge um We've been calling it Luz, but I'm pretty sure it's Luz because yeah, we've met, because was, we've met uh, some Portuguese people. I was, I was really cringing because the other day they were going Luz and then, and then Dad's going, yeah, Luz. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I was, I, I was, was like, like I if, you're, if you're talking, we thought it was Luz, Luz, but if you're stood talking and you've made friends with a Portuguese couple and the Portuguese couple are clearly calling it Luz, <laughs> it's clearly going to be called Luz, so you adapt. Jason just woke up from a nap. Yeah, I turned it off. Look at his hair. <laughs> <laughs> jump on the scooters and take a scoot up to luge and go up to the the beach front there it's really nice and grab a little bite to eat hi little man do you think we'll ever leave here you think we'll ever leave? oh where's monkey it's isabel little sloth bell yeah what does that do <laughs> yeah clever boy jc bye what are you saying jc man we get out in a minute when we go get some curry. Yeah, we go into our favorite place. But before we go and talk about that, I wanted to show you guys this. We've just come down to Praia de Luz to spend our last evening. That wasn't even supposed to be our last evening. Let's just talk about that one right now. But oh my goodness, this is the most annoying intro to anything, right? So we come down and look at the moon on the water. Okay, you guys can't see anything right now. <laughs> so what we're seeing is a big stretch of like white ocean that the moon is creating right now and it's stunning but you guys can see a tiny 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 weeny minute patch of white in the camera that i'm looking at right now and nothing like what we can see in real life but you know such is life they need to develop cameras that can see like that eyes can see then we'll all be able to see what i can see that was a great statement that right anyway so we started our journey in this beautiful place by going to by going to no it was isabel's birthday so it was like our second night it's like our second night because we arrived no we arrived on the 31st yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the first night the first we didn't go the second yeah, yeah. is when we went and jace was so like, third cute, like hawaiian top i've got a, um, a picture of it. it had like a cute hawaiian t-shirt on yeah 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 anyway basically our favorite restaurant here it's this so is uh, an indian restaurant called saffron yeah. and you guys have been desperate to be fair these are these all wanted to go there yesterday 
was it yesterday? No, yeah. yesterday was an extra day. The, the day went to the Chinese. Day. The day went to the Chinese. Yeah, it was like saffron, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I fancy, fancy Chinese, fancy Indian. I really fancy um, Chinese. And then I was like, mm, I quite fancy Chinese. Yeah. And then we ended up going to the Chinese. But I don't think Isabel and Esme really, really forgave me for that choice. So. I'm so glad we get this tonight and we can go back. Yeah, so we're going back, so we're going to go see, and the guys, the guys are amazing here as well. Like, literally, so if you're in, lovely. if you're in the area, you need to come check out Saffron because the guys here are amazing. It's one of the, most, it's a popular thing to do though, isn't it? Whilst you're here, so I think I've read, read on a thing that's. What really go to a restaurant? restaurant. Oh, no, to yes, this Alan. specific yes. restaurant. Oh, okay, oh, okay. You keep walking, Dala. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we're going to go get some lovely Indian food, and we will see you inside. Boom, Saffron. That's what I'm talking about. You almost dropped the camera. Just trying to be cool then, I almost dropped the camera. Chris you ready? Always like, I've got this great idea for transition. I'm like, oh, the camera, the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked, we're all good. JC, bye. Do you want some Indian food? Let's go. Yeah, man, let's go. All the girls are cursing me right now. Well, they're all buzzing right now, actually, because the, uh, the very kind owners just gave them all the Wi Fi password. Because we're a family who likes to talk at dinner time, you said. <laughs> But they're all cursing me as well. Put the camera around. They're all cursing me right now because uh, we, they all just jumped out of the showers and straight out the scooters. And I was supposed to bring a hairbrush so everyone could brush their hairs when we got here. But I forgot the hairbrush. <laughs> so none of, none of the girls are my friend right now. And Jace, I don't know what he thinks he's doing down there. Barissimo down there. <laughs> he's going to be terrible too, which is what Jace is doing right now. <laughs> Anyway, whenever we go out to a restaurant, especially when we come out to an Indian place, these guys always go for like a vegetable korma and I am always jealous. I always go for something that's a little bit more just different or like spicier or whatever, because I like the spice. Because I didn't realize you can make a korma spicy. So I've just asked the guys here and I've ordered myself a vegetable korma tonight, but a hot one. So I'm looking forward to that coming. Meanwhile, my boy likes the dandies. Meanwhile, I'm just sat here thinking, why did I leave dad? to get socks out for Jace because I've just looked and he's definitely got Isla's socks on. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> yes, yes thank you. Did the ankles up his leg? <laughs> <laughs> so the man just said, be careful of this one, it's very spicy. And that's me. <laughs> I didn't think it was the nice soup. I didn't even see it, she pretty much went, oh this, put it in her mouth. I was like, not that one. But it was too late, it was already in her mouth. I can't feel the throat, it's numb. Esme does like spice though. Yeah, but... Can well, I'm going to try it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> not when I'm not expecting it. <laughs> right, here we go. Is it this one? Yeah, Even Jay's this one. Is it this one? Yeah. You can't just get a little tea. No, that's, oh, no, that's no. a lot. That's, that's, good, a that's lot. good, that's good, that's good. That's good. I I would, again. It's about I would not get that one. Only one. Oh, it smells good. Let me get my drink. Right. Look, let me, I'll do it with it. Look, nice. look, look I'm going to do it like a big man. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, look, I'll do it like a big man. Like, that's man. disgusting. Ew! Just try not to cry. <laughs> the green one's refreshing. <laughs> I think I'll just stick to the mangoes, couldn't I? Medium to hot karma did not disappoint. It is so so good. This is why I love this place. The food is amazing, and I'm gonna sound like a schoolboy right now, but I've only just discovered this on this trip. <laughs> the yeah. cheesy naan bread. Oh my goodness me! It's naan bread with like mozzarella cheese melted in the middle. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've only just learned about these while we're on this trip in Portugal. This is what we've eaten every time we've been for an Indian. These cheesy naan breads. It's so with me. It's like mozzarella naan bread and coconut naan bread, and now for sure I'm the same naan. Okay, yeah, Isabel's a big coconut <laughs> naan bread fan. You've never picked up, you've like coconut naan bread. I'm like... I'm not a fan of the coconut naan bread, but I'm not a massive fan of coconut. Like, if you are, Comment below what you like best. But these, eaten more tonight. These cheesy I'm ones. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Jace is having the best night. Jace is, Jace is best food ever. He's Indian. When we have Indian, he like troughs it. He doesn't stop eating the whole way through. Look at his face. He's just a happy boy. He's eating all his karma. <laughs> yum, yum, 
Yeah. Another lovely evening spent. That was a delicious meal. And a very, very nice chat with the owners as well. That place is my, that place is my favorite. It was really nice to end this trip in the Algarve, in this area. The way we started it, yeah, the way we started it, we had like, it was one of our favorite memories of the trip last time from Isabel's birthday, so it was really nice to end it there and it was, that place is the bomb. And anyway, we're, having a, we're having a really good chat actually with the owner then about the fact, about the way COVID has affected tourism, has had a knock-on effect with businesses. It's things that we didn't even, I'm not gonna go into it now because it's yeah. not, not the place for the vlog, but things that you wouldn't even expect to be affected, like has affected them. Like you basically only think, well, the only way they've been affected is that no one's going to the restaurant anymore. But it's not, it's just not. that. There's so many other factors. There's um, so many, other, so many such, deep layers to it. It's not even funny. And, yeah, and they're just such lovely people in there. They're really, really, really nice. Yeah. And we told them all about what we do. Like, they were saying, like, what do you guys do and how long are you here for? Um, after our meal of finishing things, and just before we left just then. And we told them and... They very kindly offered a, did they say 10% discount? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you guys, so if you want to come to Saffron in Pride Lowe's and you just quote Ingham family to the guys, then you'll get yourself a nice discount on your bill, a nice 10% discount on your bill. So that's really kind of them, really, really kind of them indeed. But it is really important to, I don't want to sound preachy and my arms hurt so much from carrying this camera and this boy on my back but it just goes to say and show how important it is to you know if you're able support small businesses everywhere you can do because uh, you just never know what they're going through behind closed doors and um it's just really really important to to keep supporting businesses everywhere you can do if you can, if you can obviously yeah if you can anyway guys that was the best night best lovely it was so good but i'm so full after that amazing curry that i need to just roll I need to stand on my scooter and roll back to the campsite. The batteries are going to die. We've been playing on them all day. Oh no, well, apparently. Two bars, let's hope we get back. <laughs> We've got no batteries and we've got a big odd. It's a big odd hill out of Pride to lose back to the campsite. So anyway guys, I think we're gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you're excited for us to actually leave tomorrow. In fact, give this video a thumbs up right now if you predict that we will leave tomorrow. No, and give it a thumbs up if you predict that we're going to leave, not leave tomorrow. So you've got no choice but to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't, then you just mean. Anyway, <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, we'll see you all tomorrow for a very fun, exciting video. Probably back in Spain somewhere. And we'll catch you then. Until then. Good night, guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> good night, guys. That was cheesy, man. That was a cheesy, man. Good night. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> no. Oh no, that was cheesy man, good night. Oh. <laughs> okay. Good night guys. <laughs>